Electric guitars. Few instruments have had such an impact on modern music since their invention in the early 1930s. In fact, there's probably one playing in your favorite song. But when you plug a guitar into an amp, what's actually happening? The magic is in the guitar's pickups, which change the kinetic energy of the guitar strings vibrating into electric energy with the same principle that explains how electricity is made with wind turbines, called Faraday's Law of Induction. This is a sort of complicated law of electromagnetism, but for our purpose, just know that it explains how magnetic fields can generate electricity in the right circumstances, usually by moving them inside or through a coil of copper wire. You see, underneath each of the guitar's strings is a cylindrical magnetic pole, and these are coiled together with a very thin copper wire. Together, these create a small inductive sensor, which is a device created by applying Faraday's law that will generate an electric current when the magnetic field going through it changes. This is important because guitar strings are always made out of nickel or other metal alloys that are magnetic, so when they are strung over the magnetic poles in the pickups, they generate their own magnetic field, and when they vibrate, their magnetic fields also vibrate through the inductive sensor, which, by Faraday's law, creates an electric current. This current is sent through a cord and into an amp where it's converted back into the sound of a guitar string being plucked, or, just as often, distorted into something totally different.